Hello everyone, how you all? Welcome to your very own channel, Programming Knowledge. And in the last lecture, we have learned that how to connect JavaScript with HTML. And now in this particular lecture, we are going to see that how JavaScript can also control and interact with the CSS to create dynamic and the stylish web pages, right? So let's start uh, with the definition first that what we are actually going to do and what we are actually going to learn and how it works basically uh, implementing a javascript with the uh, css what actually happened that it makes the web pages more interactive by updating the styles dynamically based on the user action like uh, every time when a user click uh, make the mouse movement and any other thing which he does on the website on the basis of that a certain javascript file which will run and will make the changes or uh, will update the css which makes the website very much interactive so how it is done let me show you so let's go to our visual studio code let's go So I'm currently on my Visual Studio code and here you can see I'm having a HTML file, a CSS file and a JavaScript file. Now in the HTML file, I'm having a main tag. Inside of it, I am having a heading and a button tag. Now on the head the heading tag, I'm having an ID named heading and inside the button, I have put a certain uh, CSS. First of all, inside the button, I have written click here and I applied some certain CSS on the main tag which you can see here yeah you can see here I have put a height width background color and certain flexbox properties color of the text and font family and font weight and size bagara bagara. and these are the things right okay now let's see that how how it looks so it look like this subscribe the channel and here it is having a button name click here right okay now I want to apply us that the when I click on this particular button the CSS of the whole main page get changed means when I click here on this button the background color which is currently black get changed to the another color how it can be done let's see on the button first with the uh, on whatever tag or whatever element which is present on your website if you want that on the particular action to that particular element makes the changes in the CSS you have to put a certain action on that particular tag like on the button I am writing on click and inside of it I am calling a function let's name the function as change back ground yeah and inside the script tag now i'm going to write my javascript okay we can also write in the external also but uh, this time i'm writing inside this internal javascript just to make the things very clear okay uh, so let's write a function a function function name is change background and inside of it we are going to write the main logic and the main code which will change the css but before that try to understand i have written inside the button on click which means that the click action when the user click this particular function will be called and what code will be inside that particular what logic will be inside that particular function will be written here inside the script tag right so here what i'm going to do is first we have to write document what is document well, to understand better about the document, you need to learn about the DOM manipulation. But till then, learn it in this way that document means this whole browser. Inside this whole browser, I'm having all the elements like H1, I'm having the main, I'm having the H1, I'm having the button. So first, we have to write the document for the selecting that particular element or the particular tag on which we want to change the CSS. So I have written document then I will write query selector inside the query selector I will write the name of that particular query so I want to change the CSS for the main I will write the main here main and then I will write style dot style style will help to change the CSS dot style dot 
now what css property i want to change i want to change the background color so write the back ground color equals to now what color i want i want the blue color i want the background color to be changed into get blue all right okay so let's see that whether it is working or not so in our website i'm having the click here button i'm going to click on the click here button let's click on it and you can see when i click on it the color get changed to the from black to the blue is it good is it looking uh, quite impressive and interactive yes it is so this is how you can change the css of any particular element or particular query now uh, one more thing i want to tell you that you can also like here we what we have done you have selected a query with the help of the name of that particular tag right now imagine i'm having uh, i'm going to select h1 tag right i'm my query is h1 so if there are lot of h1 tags inside the website and uh, i want to change the css of only one h1 tag then what i have to do because this will select all the this particular query selector will select all the h1 right so for that we use the id for that we use the id same like what we do on the css also right so for changing css with the help of id what we do is that simply document dot get element by id we have to write this when we write this what actually happens is that we have selected this particular h1 with the help of this id right and now write the name of the id so change it to the heading which is this id right now let's see that what actually happens when i click on this button on our website so where is our website this okay this is so let's click on this click here button so when i'm clicking on this click here button you can see now the css of that h1 tag is getting changed how it is happening actually it is everything is same what we are doing uh, different is that we are selecting this h1 with the help of an id so that you can do so there are two main things which we do is that first we uh, use the query selector that document dot query selector and then we write the name of the tag and second is that get element by id where we write the name of the id so by this two method we can select any element on which we want to change the css and then we further write the style dot the css property name and the css property here right okay so this is how the css of your web page can be changed with the help of the javascript i hope you get the concept i hope you understand that how it can be done if you done uh, if you understood this then uh, make sure that you like the video and subscribe the channel uh, we will be coming with lot more topics so stay connected thank you so much